it's a stunning goal. Here's England. Welcome to another episode of Goalbox, a great excuse for us to watch as many goals as possible with some of the best strikers in the Barclays FAWSL and all from the comfort of our homes. It is a beautiful goal. Brilliant finish. Absolutely righty. It's been so good chatting with Pauline Bremer and Chloe Kelly in the last two episodes. If you've missed either of them, make sure you go and check them out on the Barclays football channels. This episode, we're joined by the leading goal scorer in the league, a true goal machine. It is, of course, Vivian Miedema. At 23, Miedema is already the Dutch all-time highest goal scorer with a massive 69 goals for her country. She is also the last season's highest goal scorer with 22 goals for Arsenal. And this season is not looking much different with 16 goals so far this season. She's currently leading the pack again, including a double hat-trick. But we'll come to that later. Vivian, welcome to Goalbox. Hey Viv, how you doing? Yeah, good, good. How are you? Very well, very, very well. well. I'm in London, where are you? I'm up in Scotland, far away from everything. Nice. How is it? Is it okay? It's a bit colder, but it's all good. Like, we've got a bit of space so we can play football in the back garden and we can just, like, go out and play some tennis. So that's really good, to be honest. All right, so we've got one of the best strikers in the world and we're here to look at your goals so far in the FAWSL. Let's, let's roll the tape. Okay, your first goal was against Lovely Brighton. Ball from Nobs, Beautiful goal. The left foot finish. Have you been working on the left foot a lot, Viv? Well, yeah, obviously I have, but it's more because when I was younger, I normally yeah. twisted my right ankle. So oh, okay. I couldn't really hit the ball with my right. So like it's kind of came naturally for me then to actually go and kick it with my left. So I think that's obviously, well, it's been a good thing that I keep like kept twisting my ankle, I'd say. <laughs> okay, so the next goal, Manchester City. Scoring against the top teams, does it mean even more to you? Yeah, easy question. That one against Man City was like a game-winning goal. It probably like makes you feel better than scoring a hat-trick in a 5-0 win, if that makes sense. Yeah, I like the way they, how you just you kept yourself on, on the side. You knew Steph Horton was, was to, your, to your right and you just angled your run a little bit and it was a great ball through and just a nice calm finish. Yeah, I mean, that's obviously like a great ball from Kim. Like, if Kim picks up the ball there, you can, I kind of know what run I need to make. And I mean, she placed the ball exactly on the plate for me there. So all I need to do is finish that. So I'd say like probably 80% of that goal is in, in Kim's ball. Assists are important to you, I, I take it. They weren't important to me. But to you, they seem to be <laughs> very important. Right, that's because you were just so greedy in front of goal. I was greedy. I'm, I'm not ashamed of that. <laughs> I'm going to have to look that back because I think I'm a bit too young to, to remember you. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I just love playing with people. So, like, I obviously love, um, yeah, giving other people chances and creating stuff for other people as well. And, like, you get the ball, you can turn, you can play a pass. Like, it's just so much more fun than actually just being a proper nine, I think. So, Ian, you missed out. <laughs> I know. I love the way you made that run. That was a nice run. I like, that's the kind of, I, that Never, goal yeah. there, I like that goal. So Viv, the next one, uh, 38,000 people you played against uh, Tottenham, arch rivals of Arsenal. How was it playing in that stadium and winning 2-0? I think it's an amazing thing that we get to play in the men's stadiums and that, and especially like a North London derby, like it's just a massive game for both clubs. I just see that the, um, how, how, how quickly you pounced on that mistake. What made you do that? Do you know? It's just kind of like a feeling, like sometimes I just guess and you just go for that. Sometimes I get shouted at from DVD in the back. She's like, don't go right now. And I'm like, well, I wanted <laughs> to go. I'm sorry. It was a good gamble. Yep. OK, next game, Liverpool. It looks like a good get from the back here. Look, Leah. Great ball from Leah. Yeah, and Joe kind of plays in space. Um, I think at that Super time I kind of, I was a bit <laughs> a bit annoyed on how she played that. But if you look back, that's obviously like the only way that she could have played that. I'm obviously a bit lucky, like the ball goes through her legs, I think. But what I like about it is how clinical the, the, the strike was. People who take their shots early, regardless of whether people are tight enough or not, because I think that the higher you go, you're going to get less time to strike. So these are the goals that I like to watch. I do feel like I've got a lot of time sometimes, which I actually almost hate because once you've mm. got more time mm. you've got more time to think about what you're going to do and I'm, yes. sometimes that's why i end yeah. up doing like three or four cuts like just after each other and i'm like why did i not just finish that okay bristol your first goal against bristol bristol was a great game for you 
Um, well, first of all, before the game, I ended up going to Bottom Woods and I checked my bag and I didn't have my boots with me. I had to actually drive back to the house to go and pick up my boots. How do you forget <laughs> your boots? <laughs> okay, the second one. I oh, can't really miss this one, can I? Beautiful run. Runners into the box. It's in. The defending was, was a little bit lax there. I mean, that ball should never go across to the far post, but you have to be in that position no. and you did That's and exactly it was an easy right tap in. So what I like about this one is, is the run from here and then you go, bang, that. That's top draw. Yeah. The, the goal was awful. I felt a bit embarrassed yeah. in that goal, to be honest. No, 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 never feel embarrassed. If you're in there, you've made the, you've done the work to be in there. This one's good because it's again, it's it's quick again. Yeah. Me tomorrow again. The first touch was so beautiful to open up your gate there. Too much time for Danielle there, but like this touch here, look, bang. That's that's I love that. As you say, like if you play against the top teams, you need to have a good first touch because you won't have that time mm -hmm. to then have a third or fourth touch. This one is just a beautiful pass across. There's a lot of time for that ball to come across. You know the ball's coming and then you've got to pick your spot. And I think you did it superbly just by putting it in the, the bottom right hand corner. Yeah, as you say, though, like that's one of the ones that I obviously don't really enjoy. Like I've got so much yeah, time I'm there and I'm like, okay, what am I going to do? And then the six against Bristol. Well, sorry, Bristol, but this <laughs> happened. So, but this is what, that's great that's play. That's good play, yeah. With Jordan. And see, that's again, for me, Yes, the, you know, it's six goals, and it's, but still be ruthless, still do it sharp. And that's what I saw there. I love this goal. This is a great, I like this one because it's all on the front foot. Kim Little wins the ball, first touch, oh, bang, bang yeah. Daniela van der Dijk turns quickly. Then Kim Little pulls on the shoulder to give you the space. And then it, what a dink. Oh, lovely. Little right foot outside lovely. of the boot dink. Did you see the goalkeeper go down early? Before the game, Lien, our goalkeeper coach, is always giving us little like templates and all that. And she's like, oh, this is what the goalie does. I'm always kind of taking the mick out of her. I'm like, oh, Lien, like, we don't need that, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> but this was, actually, this was actually that moment that I realized in my head that all she'd been saying to me all week in training was like, she goes down quick. And I was like, good job, Lien. Very good job. You're in total control of that. The goalkeeper is hoping for a bad touch so mm. she could come and smother. The goalkeeper's got no chance. A, a super finish. Second goal against Reading. Nice play. Look at Arsenal. How beautiful. Look how great we look. It's a great ball, this. Brilliant ball by DVD. Yeah. And then you're just alert. Keeper's in no man's land. You didn't yeah. know whether to come or stay. And it just made your, I think it made the option easier for you. We were all really tired. And DVD was just like, she, before she hit the ball, she was like, run. And I was like, okay, well, I'll go. <laughs> and then obviously the ball ended up there. And as you say, like the goalie is just kind of stuck in between, which obviously. I don't need to take it around or anything. I can just kind of lop it over. Yeah, and that's don't need that. to. Yeah, great finish. So next up we have Everton. Do you, do you, do you practice your heading in training? Nah, I hate heading the ball. <laughs> 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 Absolutely hate that. Okay, this is the second goal. You said look, it was a tap in. Yeah, it's kind of the same um, as the one against yeah, Bristol. It's good, well, good play. Same position. Look how look at look how sharp it is. Right, once once she picks it up, look at she's got time. In a look, look at this pass here. Bang. Look at that movement there. Dan, not tight enough defender. That's fantastic. I love that. But what I see with the Arsenal women's team is a team that don't mess around. Yeah, next goal up, Liverpool. You like scoring against these two. This game was 3-2. You know, it's just a near post finish and you adjust your feet so well. You open up your left hip and then you just guide the ball in. It's a great ball across quite early from Jordan, which you know you're on the same wavelength. And, um, you know, the defender probably should have been a bit closer, but it's just your footwork there. So just open it up and reach. Not too many people could do that at that level. Nah, my hips hurt after the game, but it's all good. <laughs> I'll do it for the goal. <laughs> okay, Liverpool, the second goal. This is the header, right? This is the header? Yeah. Yeah, this is a good run. Again, look in the, look in the middle, yeah. look. Bam. In the middle of the goal. You know what I mean? What can you say? You, 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 I, 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 I love that. You say you don't header, but you seem to do the right thing once you're in there. I mean, I got pushed here, so I think my header was a bit <laughs> uncontrolled, but it still went in. What you do well there is you stand your ground because you know you sent someone behind you. That little nudge could have probably pushed you to miss that ball, but you know you stood your ground well and then guided it back across the back of the goal. Good strength. That's some really good goals there, Viv. I like, I like what I'm seeing there. So Viv, thanks for being on Goalbox. It's been an absolute pleasure to speak to you and analyse your goals with Righty. 
we love watching you play and keep up the good work for when the season does eventually come round again. Stay safe. I mean, I'm probably going to have to go out and run right now, so wish me luck. <laughs> <laughs> We've got another Gold Box episode coming, so make sure you keep an eye on all the Barclays football channels to catch it as soon as it lands. Until then, take it easy. <laughs>